and I'm the Secretary of State for Transport. Dennis Murphy is a tremendous local member of Parliament, has raised with me in the floor of the House and indeed in my office in Whitehall the question of reopening a railway line through his constituency. I was able to go there today to see for myself what he was talking about, the importance of the line for the local community, and to discuss with all those that are interested in the reopening how we might do it. Obviously these things are practical matters about money, but we had a very constructive and a very excellent conversation. Of course, the big debate over the last few weeks has been Lord Bates, the Tory Deputy Chairman's comments about the two airports we have in the region. Um, how important are the two regional airports to the northeast economy? Regional airports are vital right across the country, and I'm sure that the people of the northeast value their two airports, which are actually complementary. So I think uh, the good Tory Lord has got that wrong. And what is important is that we focus on making sure that we continue to have access from our regional airports to Heathrow. And I know that's a big issue here in the northeast. We took a difficult decision to enlarge Heathrow Airport to build an extra runway. We got no support from the Tories. Indeed, the Tories were opposed to that. And it's simply astonishing that Conservative MPs like William Hague in the region are saying that they want these services to be provided, that's right, but they're not prepared to support the measures that we're taking to deliver that. So you're in Wall's End now, and you've just met uh, John Harrison, the Labour Mayor, who's seeking re-election. Well, John Harrison's a great guy. He's done a tremendous amount for his community, and I hope he represents that community for many, many years to come. And I've seen today the results of just over £4 million of government money to rebuild a bridge here locally, uh, one already being used by local children, uh, something that is a vital link in this particular part of of course, you've had a ride on a metro to get here. What was that like? That was great, and uh, the government are putting something like £300 million into uh, modernising the metro, something, again, the Tories can't match because they're proposing to cut something like £840 million from the transport budget. And when they make promises about transport spending or indeed any other kind of spending, people really need to ask themselves, how on earth are they going to be able to afford to spend that extra money that they're promising when their promise to cut the transport budget is there, set out by the Shadow Chancellor? 